that we'll be singing along. Oh, it's, good. But it's one of those <laughs> iconic singles where I was listening to the album in the car the other day and I found that without noting, I've been singing along for a minute. Ah, you know? well, thank you very much. I mean, it is, it, it's a wonderful thing when you've written songs that seem to be in the social fabric. Yeah. You know, you walk past a builder on a building site and they give you a bit of going to make you a star. <laughs> and, no, it's a... Uh, and I get letters, you know, particular songs I've written mean a lot to couples or people. Which is the main one? Which is the main song that you wrote uh, that uh, people write into you about? Uh, well, lots of them, really. Things like If I Could, uh, probably, you probably don't know that. Um, Hold Me Close, Gonna Make You a Star, mm. all these things. Yeah. Rock On, that was my favourite. Yeah. How are you going to get all these songs into a musical without sort of leaping from one subject to another? Because <laughs> they don't look as though they would, they would necessarily tie into one another. Well, what was important, I mean, we, we opened on Friday and the reaction has been unbelievable. Uh, it, it's such a powerful show and it was very important to me and John Conway wrote the script that the songs weren't grafted on. So mm. we kind of looked at all the different mediums I've written in. I've written for uh, film, for ice ballets and everything else. So there was a, a lot to choose on, that, that, that choose from that would work in the show. And uh, it, it seems to, it's all interwoven. Um, the, the show is about relationships, unrequited love, uh, love, uh, relationships between fathers, sons, fathers and daughters. Love, loss, laughter and loyalty set around a travelling fun fair. That's right, in this kind of strange underbelly world of a fun fair. You've got to think about fun fairs, haven't you really? Because I remember uh, That'll Be The Day was... Yes, that, that was some of that with, too, with Ringo was set in, in a fun fair. I just find them fascinating because, uh, you know, you've got this on the top, you've got this kind of veneer of having a good time and there's just this sort of undercurrent of violence. You worked in one though, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, I sort of left school for a little while and went off with a fair. You <laughs> ran off with a fair? Well, I uh, sort of it didn't go too far. I did you? How far did you get? Uh, I went about sort of about 12 miles from home yeah. when it moved. But uh, fascinating world. And, and what was it like? Did you think to yourself that you wanted to stay there? Or? I did. I mean, I've always liked travelling. I mean, this, this show uh, uh, is in Bromley this week, then it goes places like Darlington and Stoke. And I enjoy that because mm. you, you sort of get to know a place. I mean, I've seen so much of Britain uh, because of, of touring, and I, I really enjoy that. So I'm so, I'm, I'm so proud of the cast and, and the way that, that it's been reacted to. It's a very powerful show. To, to sort of mix metaphors a bit, you've got travelling roots, haven't you? Yeah, my mother, uh, mother's father, uh, it says on, on her marriage certificate, they used to have occupation, and it says occupation, father's occupation, travelling tinker man. Really? Which is kind of cool. But yeah, um, but the show is more about showmen as opposed to travellers, you know, they're a different kind of breed that put these incredible fairs up for a week and just move on. Yeah. It's, it's its own little insular world and we look into it, so, as I say, we open Friday and standing ovations all the way. The cast is incredible. I'm, I'm just so proud of it and thrilled. And in the show, you sing this song, don't you? Let me see. All right. Yes. Gonna make you a star. Gonna. I used to get into terrible trouble singing that around the house, you know. Why? Well, he's, he's going to, David. We're going, going to make you a star. We're going to make you a star. We will do that tonight, <laughs> just, just for mum and dad's sake. Uh, it's interesting on the album, uh, looking at the sleeve notes, and it says, the East End boy done good. <laughs> and I wonder whether there's a bit of you that thinks, oh, I can't believe I'm still doing this. You I know, can't four decades it. in no, show I mean, my, my, I called my autobiography A Charmed Life, and it feels like that. Um, to be able to work in so many different mediums with what seems to be an element of success for so long, uh, it, it's incredible. Um, I don't take it for granted, that's for sure. And, and I think what keeps me interested is, is being able, you know, I mean, just be, uh, prior to 
a, a 56 state rock tour. I was doing Aspects of Love for Andrew Lloyd Webber. Then I did the, the rock tour, and now I'm doing mm. all the fun and the fear. So they're all different, mm. and that keeps me interested. I need to ask you a technical question about yes. one of your lyrics, because I've always wanted to do. Um, uh, Hold Me Close, right? It's got this, that line that everybody sings, with your love light shining, every, every cloud's, cloud's got, got a silver, silver lining. Was, what is love light? What well, I think, I think it's when you care for somebody, you kind of illuminate. Is that right? Is that, I, don't I don't know. You sang it. I, don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I think I that's wondering. what it's about. But the other one, I mean, you probably never sang Foolish Pride is the other lyric that comes up in a lot of me. Foolish, well, my foolish pride. No, I never think, sang that. No. Good. Yeah. Okay, because I've always been foxed by okay. that one too. Love light shining. You, know, I did, never you understand really that, don't you? I understood that. Yeah. It's a, yes, it's sort of You're being too literal. I think yeah. see, he is. See, lyrics, when they're abstract, <laughs> <laughs> resonate. Yes. <laughs> that's why the, got music yeah. And that's well, why the grammar yeah. doesn't matter either. No, Let's exactly. be fair. No, no be I fair. mean, no, what I wrote them songs for that. That's show. right. <laughs> handsome. <laughs> handsome. So you've got to tell us where you're going. Yeah, well, uh, probably this week, Darlington next week, um, then it's Stoke. Then it's Brighton, and then I don't know. But it tours right the way to, to the middle of next year. And what they've brought out, they've brought out this, this album called All the Fun of the Fair, which is the original masters of all the songs in the show, and that comes out The today. original. And that's out today, isn't yes. it? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's okay. a very good listen. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you. Very much. 13 minutes to nine. Now, take a look at this.